Hello everyone, my name is Boko. Uh, thank you for coming. I want to show you the vocabulary, grammar and pronunciation differences between Serbian and Croatian in today's video. Let's take a look. Bosnian, Serbian and Montenegrin are separate standard uh, languages. Uh, basically I would say without any differences among themselves and with some very slight differences uh, with standardized Croatian. I've already talked about the historical and political aspects uh, of these languages or their differences in one of my previous videos. Uh, so these four are standardized forms of Serbo-Croatian. Technically it's a single polycentric language. Uh, I want to get into the details of these slight differences that Croatian has. Just some of their words, they're, they're slightly different, it's not a big deal. I mean you can just consider them synonyms to their Serbian counterparts, why not? Uh, you should also keep in mind that there are regions in Croatia where some Serbian words are used and vice versa, you know, and uh, there are different parts of this region where, you know, different words are used and uh, we can use any of them, you know, it's just one language. Anyway, this is the first difference, spelling. The major difference is that Serbian uses another alphabet, Cyrillic. I guess Latin is used more than Cyrillic here in Serbia also, especially online, of course. Uh, the majority of websites uh, have an option available, you know, to switch between Latin and Cyrillic alphabets. Uh, next, the uh, spelling of foreign names is different. Uh, Croatians would keep the original name. And Serbians uh, write the same way they hear it. Take a look, it's, uh, it's funny actually. Michael Jordan, Staples Center, uh, Tomorrowland. So we would say Michael Jordan, Staples Center, Tomorrowland. Uh, that's what we do, okay? We write it just how we hear it and that is actually pretty easy. Uh, maybe the easiest thing about our language. Um, spelling of the future tense, spavatchu, spavatchu, trčatchu, trčatchu. That's different, as you can see. They would make two words like that for, for the future. Rečiću, uh, this one is identical. This is different because this, uh, this infinitive ends in ci, so those verbs, uh, verbs would be the same in both languages. Ići, doći, preći, steći, and so on. Next, pronunciation. Ikavian and Ijkavian. It just sounds so weird and unnatural when I say it in English, so I'll just use the terms Ekovski and Iekovski from now on, okay? Uh, people usually uh, associate Ekovski, like milk, mleko, song, pesma, and not Iekovski, mlieko, piesma, with Serbian. But it's not actually true, since Serbs use both as standard. Uh, most Serbs outside of Serbia, like Bosnia, Croatia, and Montenegro, actually use Ijekovski. And Serbs in Serbia, uh, including Belgrade, use only Ekovski. You can find both in Serbian newspapers, but Ekovski uh, clearly dominates. Uh, the Serbian standard is, I guess, much less strict than Croatian. There is a bigger choice of acceptable variants and officially in Serbian language we accept we have both Ekovski and Iekovski. If you find a dictionary of differences listing Bjeli as Croatian and Beli as Serbian for white, you can immediately conclude it's oversimplifying things then. There's a tradition of playing down differences uh, between Ekovski and Iekovski. Um, most people, especially in Serbia, are used to hearing and reading both, to be honest. You have it in songs, uh, stories, movies, but usually people can write and speak only Ekovski here. 
So let's take a look at the differences between the pronunciations for some common verbs. Heat up, grejati, greje, grijati, grije, laugh, smejati se, uh, smejem se, smijati se, smijem se, hate, mrzeti, mrzim, mrziti, mrzim, love, voleti, volim, voljeti, volim, uh, understand, razumeti, razumem, razumijeti, razumijem. Some infinitives in Serbian, ekavski, uh, have the letter e, while some ekavski words have e. Also in ekavski there are some y letters or e, or sometimes they would say l. Uh, that's how we pronounce lj. Sounds um, uh, lj sound, but you can see that even though infinitives are slightly different. Uh, the first person singular is the same for almost all of the verbs. Heat up is different, okay, also I'm laughing, smejem se, smijem se, and I understand, uh, or razumijem, razumem, okay, that is different. Um, some other words, memory, sećanje, sjećanje, apart, deo, dio, lazy, len, lien, who, ko, tko, what, šta, što, someone, neko, netko. Consent, saglasnost, suglasnost. Cooperation, saradnja, suradnja. Bladder, bešika, mjehur. Week, nedelja, tjedan. Pants, pantalone, hlače. Floor, sprat, kat. Wave, talas, val. A wheel, točak, kotač. Condition, uslov, uvjet. Air, vazduh, zrak. Glasses, naučare, naučale, celery, celery, plata, plaća, dot, tačka, točka, priest, sveštenik, svećenik, doctor, lekar, liječnik, fabri, uh, fabrika, I mean factory, fabrika, tvornica, football, football, nogomet, uh, movie theater, bioskop, kino, cell phone, mobilni, mobitel, family, porodica, obitelj. Some words, uh, words that end in v, ekavski, end in h, iekavski, like deaf, gluv, gluh, suv, suh, muva, muha, kuvati, kuhati. Uh, some words that end in l or r in iekavski just don't have that last word in ekavski, like so, sol, sto, stol, veče, večer, Juče, jučer. Although, we bring it back when we conjugate the word in a certain case. And uh, uh, it sounds the same in both pronunciations. Na stolu, o stolu, te večeri. Please note that all of these examples uh, that I have shown you so far and that I am about to show you in uh, uh, today's lesson are just random examples they're not rules so this doesn't apply for all the words okay um, we still have words in Serbian or Ekavski that end in L like pain ball and so on okay food vocabulary Borania Mahune Kaisia Marelice Hleb Kruh Pasulj grah, sirće ocat, supa juha, kašika žlica, šolja šalica, makaze škare, peškir ručnik. The other food vocabulary or food um, words are the same. Um, so science vocabulary, vodonik vodik, kiseonik kisik, uh, azot dušik. Tečnost tekućina, jedinjenje spoj. Rastvor otopina, čelija stanica, sisar sisavac, kamila, they would say deva in Croatian. Pacov štakor, nauka znanost, naučnik znanstvenik, trougao trokut, lenir ravnalo. Čas sat, Chemia 
Chemia, Chaos, Chaos, um, Chirurg, Chirurg, Ocean, Ocean. Um, cities, countries and continents, some of them are a little different, like Athena, Athena, Europa, Europa, uh, Hollandia, Nizozemska, uh, Rumunia, Rumunska, uh, Spania, Spanjolska. There are some words from Slavic roots or other origin uh, there that are used only in Croatia and there are international counterparts in Serbia uh, but these international words are used in the whole region not only in Serbia so biblioteka knjižnica only in Croatian is knjižnica uh, mašina stroj muzika glazba sistem sustav um, adjectives opšti opći srećan sretan korišćen korišten uh, verbs some verbs that end in isati in Serbian have Croatian count counterparts that end in irati. Funkcionisati, funkcionirati. Ignorisati, ignorirati. Uh, integrisati, integrirati. Kontrolisati, kontrolirati. Uh, rezervisati, rezervirati. Tolerisati, tolerirati. Um, okay. Although... Uh, there are many Serbian ver verbs that end in irati also, like analizirati, diplomirati, uh, planirati, kopirati, itd. Trenirati, okay, we use this uh, word for working out, for physical exercise, to train, uh, trenirati. There are also uh, these verbs, ovati, Serbian, irati, Croatian, like Improvisovati, improvisirati, izolovati, izolirati, kompenzovati, kompenzirati, pakovati, pakirati, and others. Komentarisati, komentirati, uh, lajkovati, lajkati, surfovati, surfati, čutati, šutjeti, uh, pomerati, pomicati. Ok. Uh, that's it for today's lesson. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you wish to have a live one-on-one -on -one lesson with me, you can find me on italki. It's a perfect platform for learning languages. I will leave the link for um, for the sign-up uh, for italki in the video description below. So you can sign up really quickly. You just need a few minutes. And after you complete your first lesson on that platform, you will receive $10 on your uh, balance. So you can use that to reserve your second lesson basically for free. Also check out my website, Facebook page and Instagram account. Um, I will see you next time. Take care. Good luck with learning uh, our language. Vidimo se. Zdravo.